Here at RAP4, we are constantly on the lookout for new innovations in manufacturing and design, as in our recent trip by our team to the USA Exposition in Shanghai, China. Continually searching for new ideas and new ways to innovate is just the way of serving our customers with the best products in the industry. To that end, we now present Mr. Omar Macy to show you the inside workings of our new Takamo magazine kits. Welcome back to Wrap 4 TV. This is Omar Macy. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Takamo MK5 kit and the Flexi Air System, which is the internal air system for the magazine kit series. The Flexi Air System is basically comprised of a few components. The Flexi Air Adapter, which attaches to any standard uh, air source or ASA, uh, which can be of course a 13 cubic inch uh, air system, 5 ounce CO2 tank, or a buttstock with a remote line so it can be completely hidden within the buttstock. You will notice that the internals are very similar. We did do some modifications to allow for the flexi air system to take place. Uh, first we can look at the airline. As you can see the airline goes to the top part of the power tube which then connects to the flexi air adapter and that in turn of course feeds the air into the power tube. Another very crucial part in the system is a transfer rod which allows that movement from the hammer to the bolt without the air pipe interfering. Uh, you will also notice that there is another change in the charging handle. This charging handle was made to do a couple things. One, we needed the room for the internal airline as well as in any future modification where you want a handguard to be able to cock the the marker from the handguard, from the forward handguard. Uh, it has a channel cut through there so you're able to do that as well. Um, if you can see there's other situations such as a tombstone. Tombstone remains the same uh, for when you do not use the internal airline. In the case when it's being used with a flexi air system it becomes a plug. The next feature we want to get into a little bit more detail about is the ambidextrous magazine release system. As you can see on the magwell, we already have some cuts that will allow the system to be implemented in the future. And this basically what it's made for is so it shortens the distance between the trigger finger and the magwell. Of course in a standard military rifle such as the AR, M4 and so on, it's just right there at your fingertip. But with these Tipman systems, just because of the way the valve is and where the tombstone is, that is not possible. So what we're doing is we're actually adding an ambidextrous attachment that will attach to the magwell and it will be ready at your fingertip of course with either hand for left handed shooters and right handed shooters well thank you for tuning in if you have any further questions about anything that's been discussed today please reach us at info at rap4.com